uh, Pastor Deepak has uh, wants uh, an explanation of the verse. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. Uh, so in this particular context, Paul is very clearly speaking of uh, uh, contentment, isn't it? So he is saying, let me pull that verse here. He says in 11, I have learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. And I can live, uh, you know, uh, maximally well and thrive, uh, uh, you know, uh, abundantly well in both of these situations. Okay. And so he says, I can do all things, okay, through Christ who gives me strength to do all things. Okay. Uh, whether my circumstances are favorable for me or not, I can do uh, uh, everything okay, required of me at that particular moment as God enables me. If I have plenty, I will uh, do well. If I do not have plenty and I'm starving, I will still do well with the strength that God gives me. If I have money, I will do well. If I do not have money, I will still do well. If I am well fed, I will do well. If I am hungry, I will do well. If I am living in plenty, I will do well. If I am living in want, I will do well. I will do well in all these circumstances because at the root of my living, I have contentment. Okay, And that is the strength that God gives me to live a life victoriously regardless of the circumstances around me. And that is why I am able to continue, uh, uh, able to be uh, continually joyous, even in the most darkest of circumstances. That's the meaning of that verse. Uh, Thank you, brother. Thank you.
for the benefit of the whole church uh, the cherry picking verse would you mind uh, explaining oh. because uh, uh, many times this verse is misinterpreted that we saw the first uh, qbs of us yes. my god yeah. will supply all your needs according to his glorious riches in christ jesus all right right uh, that and also i can do all things through christ who strengthens me yes uh so so the verse my god will supply all your needs uh, according to his glorious riches is a verse that paul is using as a verse of blessing uh to the philippian church the philippian church is the only church that came forward to help paul when he was in a financial need and uh, they just did not uh, you know uh, passively want to help him or just offer help they in fact uh, put it into action and sent somebody with the gift even while paul was in prison and they had done so a couple of other times earlier as well so paul is really overwhelmed by uh, the giving of the philippian church to his physical needs and now all of us know that paul is a tent maker missionary and uh, he had his own principles about not receiving support financially from anybody he thought it as a matter of pride to uh, fund his own uh, ministry work himself and it was in many ways uh, beneath himself to freely you know solicit any help or any favor from anybody but uh, paul seems to have enjoyed a genuine relationship with the philippian church and philippian church perhaps even without paul asking realized his need and they came to his uh, uh, you know uh, uh, timely help financially and uh, so uh, by way of blessing them back he is pronouncing a a uh, a blessing of somebody who is very content in his heart and that is the context in which he is uh, saying this verse uh, to the philippian church of that particular time now for us to uh, use this very recklessly and rampantly and use it uh, on others and use it uh, mostly not on others but on ourselves you know using only the second part that god will you know give according to his riches his glory you know to me to me okay that is a total misreading or and misinterpretation of the verse okay so uh, paul is recognizing a very noble christian character coming from a particular church in which he invested spiritually and as a true spiritual father he is overwhelmed at their maturity and he is pronouncing a spiritual blessing on them period that's where it stops to extrapolate this and to apply it to ourselves and our local context is uh, perhaps reading too much into the text and appropriating blessings that actually do not belong to us and uh, uh, so so that's what i would say for that particular verse and uh, second uh, is about i can do all things through christ who strengthens me yes we can do all things through christ who strengthens me uh but there are uh, several things that we cannot do just by quoting that particular verse alone uh, because in this particular verse what paul means is that he can be content in whatever state he is in whether he is rich uh, or whether he is in what and uh, to take that out and say you know i will not prepare for my exam tomorrow but i can do all things in christ who strengthens me i will not go to college but i can crack the ias uh, i mean uh, whatever exam neat exam i can do all things through christ who strengthens me we cannot go on you know parroting that as if it were a magic mantra and assume that we can do all things through christ who strengthens us now if we are in a place where we are in a dire need for strength okay and we are looking to jesus for strength and we are going through the darkest valleys perhaps like aditya patel uh, was trying to mention uh, god will give us all the grace that we need to be able to see the light at the end of that tunnel and we can do all things through jesus through christ who strengthens us at that moment for that task for that challenge for that road in that tribulation in that trouble during that persecution but this these are not verses of uh, blessings or promise or abundance or bounty or uh, uh, 
uh, whatever that modern health wealth uh, prosperity preachers use that would be a misuse thank you thank you brother for a sweet lollipop question you have given a hot spicy answer <laughs>